Welcome back to Top Gun powered by Staya, Kapapi and Myton. Today you're going to witness the second semi-final between Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA and ISSF World Cup final silver medalist Milinko Sebic of Serbia in a best of three match of race to 10. As per the match format, the shooter with the higher shot wins a point and the shooter who reaches 10 points first wins the match. Remember, this is the semi-final and today's winner will join Martin Stremfel of Austria in the final of Togan to be held on Saturday the 8th May. So stay tuned and enjoy this thrilling face-off between these two shooting stars. Athletes to the line. Athletes to the line. Athletes to the line. And before the match begins, we will take a short commercial break. Please don't go away. We'll come back with this thriller. Myton Esther 5, intelligent software for shooters. Esther 5 makes it easy and comfortable. With a PC, notebook, tablet or smartphone, the results are displayed directly in the browser. You can choose the display device and therefore also the display size and the type of operation of your Blackmagic measuring frame yourself. The comfortable operation is possible via touchscreen or Bluetooth control panel. Simply determine the light brightness, light color and the target image from the firing point. The shooting on the other stands is no longer disturbed. On the dynamic display in the browser we use the latest web technologies. All important information such as the competition time or series results are displayed clearly on the screen. Sports shooters can also display the hit center, the hit circle or detailed hit statistics. New Innovative presentation of results now on mobile devices. Cost effective, flexible, simple. Esther 5 can be fully integrated to existing Myton Shootmaster systems. Myton, your partner for the shooting sport.
Welcome back. This is the second semi-final between Olympic champion Jenny Thrasher of USA and the ISSF World Cup silver medalist Milenko Sebic of Serbia. Your five minutes preparation and sighting time starts now. And now, both the champion shooters will introduce them. Jenny Thrasher of USA, the reigning Olympic champion with a personal best score of 631.4 and a world ranking of 56. She's competed at one Olympics, one world championship and 10 World Cups is coached by Dan Durban, who's right behind her. He'll be shooting against Milenko Sebic, the World Cup final silver medalist of Serbia. He has a personal best of 632.5 and a world ranking of 28. Milenko has competed at the Olympics, two World Championships and 20 World Cups. Highly experienced Milenko, a multi-event shooter. We'll also introduce our jury for the day, Margit Melmer of the Austrian Shooting Sport Federation. Welcome, Margit. Hi, Shimon. Good evening to our friends in India and good morning to the US and welcome and good afternoon to the people in Europe. Two minutes into the sight of time, Jenny Thrasher of USA against Malenko Sebic of Serbia. Just to quickly remind our viewers, it was a thrilling first semi-final yesterday between Martin Stremfel of Austria versus Lukas Kozenski of USA. Martin Stremfel entering the final with a 2-1 victory over the American. Lukas, of course, will be shooting for the bronze medal with one of these two shooters. I think we will see a very, very great match today because Chini, we remember she was number six and she had to fight or she had to beat the very strong Indian guy, Arjun, and she needs three, three games to beat him. And it was very, very long and hard race. And so she was very strong and um, Milenko, Milenko had uh, two games to come to this semi-final. He was shooting against Miraya from Spain. And it was it was it looks clear. He won 10-5 and 10-2. But he had a he had a strong week behind him. He was taking part on the competition in Osiek. And to this Top Gun events. So he, he will be really, yes, he had a lot of practice in the last days. That's right, Pargit. Tutors making the final preparation in the five minutes preparation in sight of time, which is about to end very soon.
end of preparation and sighting time. Stop. Reset your targets. This is it. We're about to begin. Take the first shot for the second semi-final between Ginny Thrasher of USA, the current Olympic champion, versus highly experienced and ISSF World Cup final silver medalist, Milenko Sebek. For the first competition shot, load. Start. Let's see who takes the first point of the second semi final. Will it be the Olympic champ Ginny Thrasher or the highly experienced Milenko Sebic of Serbia? Ginny starts with a 10.7 bang on target on the first attempt. Not an easy shot to beat. Oh. What a way to start the match. <laughs> Milenko also shoots a 10.7. Clear indication of what's in store in the second semi-final. Point not awarded to anyone. Both shooters shoot an identical 10.7 on the first attempt itself. Score, Ginny Milenko. Both at zero. Very high level shooting. Very high level. For the next competition shot, load. Start. That's the multi talented Milenko Sebic of Serbia did not allow Gini to take that point Gini with a 10.3 this time Milenko Sebek takes the first point with a 10.6. What a great Milenko start. Ginny zero. <laughs> Milenko Sebek taking the first point. It's taken both the shooters two shots to open their account. Malenko Sevic taking the first point. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Let's see if Ginny can level it with Malenko in the next shot. Or will it be Milenko extending his lead to two points? Chini Thrasher once again a 10.7. Can Milenko match this? Milenko 10.5. Ginny opens her account. Both shooters won all. Ginny of USA won. Milenko of Serbia won. A great start to the second semi final between Ginny Thrasher of USA and Milenko Sebic of Serbia. Both shooters at one all after three shots. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Malenko Sebek 
looks in great form 10.7 10.6 10 10.5 the minimum being a 10.5 registers another 10.5 on the fourth shot can Ginny beat this <laughs> Equilite. Ginny registers a 10.5 for a 10.5 point not awarded to any of the shooters both shooters still at one all even after four shots the score line reads Ginny one Milenko one Margit this is turning out to be a great first match you're right Shimon you're so right it's really great so so great level and from the beginning on that's amazing thank you Margit <laughs>
load start you need thrasher bang on target on her seventh shot the near she perfect can can i help our friends with the 10.9 with this question in the in the quota finals Chini have three times a 10.9 and milenko have two times a 10.9 that was so, a very shaky shot by Ginny. 9.0 not expected by an olympic champ this is what the top gun format does to the best of the best put them under extreme pressure Milenko Sevek bang on target 10.8 claims the point once again both shooters at the same score Jenny USA 3 Milenko Sevek 3 For the next competition shot, load. Start. Margaret, very quickly, you were saying something about Ginny's performance. Yes, for the for the uh, quota final, uh, because uh, your your question was how many ten points nine will be shot totally, and I would like to help. In a qualification round, Chini had three ten point nine. Once and again, Milenko Chini two. very shaky. Nine point seven doesn't look happy at all. No shooter can be happy with two consecutive nines. Milenko Sevek in with a golden chance to claim yet another point. Milenko ten point three claims the point. Malenko Sevek in the lead once again. Malenko four, Ginny three. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Ten point three this time by Malenko. Ginny Thrasher bang on target. Perfect ten point nine for the Olympic champ. After those two very shaky shots, Ginny returns with a ten point nine. What a way to claim a point. Point in favor of Ginny. Perfect 10.9. The first 10.9 of the day. Margaret, what a comeback by Ginny. She's so strong. She's, she's great. And moving to the next shot now. For the next competition shot, load. Start.
That was a perfect 10.9 in the last shot by the current Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA. Ginny once again with a strong 10, a 10.7. Milenko shoots a 10.4 point in favor of Ginny once again. Ginny in the lead. Ginny 5, Milenko 4. What a match this is turning out to be between these two shooting stars. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Ten point nine followed with a ten point seven after those two very shaky shots. And now a ten point four by Ginny. Can Milenko claim this point? Shoots a 10.2 point once again in favor of Ginny. Total score Ginny 6, Milenko 4. Ginny extending her lead with 2 points now. For the next competition shot, load. Start. The Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA in the lead with two points. Shooting in the Kapapi rifle clothing. Another 10.4 for Ginny. Can Milenko beat that this time? Yes, he does. With a 10.7, claims the point. Total score, Ginny 6, Milenko 5. What a neck and neck fight between Ginny Thrasher of USA and Milenko Sevic of Serbia. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Both shooters wearing the world-class Kapapi rifle clothing and a 10.5 by Ginny. Bang on target, Milenko Sevic shoots a 10.9. Margaret, what a shot by Milenko. So great, so great, really. And Margaret, what do you have to say about the current situation? Both the shooters neck and neck with each other. Uh, I think it will be the whole, the whole game like this. It will be the same that they are nearly, they are so strong, both of them. They are so strong. Um, I think it will be very, very a uh, small decision, very small. The gap on the end will not be too big, for sure. Malenko Sevek bang on target in that last shot with a perfect 
Let's move to the next shot now and see who claims the point. For the next competition shot, load. Start. A lot of women from around the world cheering for this Olympic champion of USA, Jeannie Thrasher. Jeannie shoots a 10.1. Another golden chance for Milenko to claim a point here. And yes, he does it with a 10.7. Total score, Milenko 7, Chini 6. You're seeing the seesaw match here. Chini was in the lead. A couple of shots back. Now it's Milenko's turn in, who's in the lead now. Can Chini level the score shot? For the next competition shot, load. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Very experienced Milenko Sebic. Yes, 20 ISSA World Cup. Under his belt. Shoots a 10.2. Yes. Easy for Ginny to beat that. No. Ginny shoots a very shaky shot once again. 9.6. What a low scoring round. Point in favor of Milenko. Milenko in the lead with two points now. Milenko eight. Ginny six. For the next competition shot. Load. Start. Milenko Sevic, the ISSF World Cup silver medalist. Very experienced, fresh from his silver medal winning performance at the Grand Prix in Croatia. Is shooting from Austria today. And if he goes through, he'll be shooting the finals from Serbia. Traveling to different countries to be in touch with his sport. Registers a 10.5. Can Ginny beat this? No, she does not. Shoots a 10.2 point once again in favor of Milenko. Milenko 9, Ginny 6. Milenko just a point away from claiming the first match. Remember, it's a best of three match. A shooter has to win two matches in order to be the winner of the day and proceed to the final. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Malenko Sebek. Just needs one more point to claim the first match against the Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA. Can Milenko finish it in the next shot? Looks like a good 10.
A 10.6, Margaret, if you can verify I, this. I'm sorry, I cannot see it very clear. I'm really sorry. It's Looks not like clear enough. Okay, it is a 10.6. Malenko, if you can verify this shot, if your coach can verify this shot, the signal is not very clear. No, it's out. The score, not the target, the score. Yes, it's a 10.6. Yeah, 10.6. Thank you. Chini Thrasher registers a 10.2. Milenko Sevic takes the point and the match. Milenko Sevic 10. Chini Thrasher 6. Margaret, very quickly, how do you analyze this first match? Goes in favor of Milenko Sevic. Uh, the last shot we can see from Chini, it was not her best. It was not so high, but we know her from the qualification, from the from the quarter final. She can come back and she can turn this game totally, turn this game. So um, Milenko should not be to, should not feel in a in a safe position because we know how strong she can beat back. Yes, Margaret, knowing Ginny, she can come back very strongly. She's a very good final shooter. And those who saw her shooting at the Rio Olympic final know this fact that Ginny performs very well when she's under pressure. Nonetheless, the first match in favor of the Serb, Malenko Serbic of Serbia winning the first match, 10-6. Please don't go away. We'll be back soon after this very, very short commercial break. New from Iton, Lana, the lane allocation software for shooting ranges. Myton makes it possible to allocate electronic shooting lanes without additional staff at the main computer. With immediate effect, shooters can now choose their own lane even using their own smartphone. Lana is accessed via a web browser and the shooter is then searched in the Myton database. The shooter selects the desired shooting program and shooting lane. This can be done either by directly entering the name, the sports ID registration number or by using the barcode of the starter card or the sports ID card. 
This means an enormous workload relief of the shooting line staff during lane allocation. All data are queried by LANA live from the Myton server, so the shooter always receives live information about free lanes and his personal club account. LANA is the complete solution in combination with the program price shooting and results. Simple operating concept, intelligent starter selection, always up-to-date information. Myton. Precise, flexible, unique. Welcome back. This is the second semi-final between Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA versus World Cup silver medalist Milenko Sebic of Serbia. First game has been won by Milenko Sebic 10-6. Let's see if Ginny can bounce back in the second match. For the first competition shot, load, start. Milenko Sebek once again bang on target, shooting a near perfect 10.8 on the first shot of the second match. This will not be easy. But knowing Ginny, she can do it. Yes, she does it with matches a 10.8 with a 10.8. Both Great. shooters, world class. What a way to start the second match. Not allowing Ginny, not allowing Milenko to claim that first point. Score the same. Ginny, zero, Milenko zero. Yes, Margaret, very quickly. Sorry, the same situation like in the first round. Both of them start with a 10.7. You remember, Shimon. Great, great. <laughs> For the next competition shot. Load. Start. Another high 10 by Milenko, a 10.7. Yes. Let's see what and Ginny has shot. 10.5. Ginny shoots a 10.5 point in favor of Milenko. Malenko takes the first point of the second match. Malenko won. Ginny yet to open her account. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Serbian shooter Milenko Sebic, ISSF World Cup final silver medalist in the lead. 
in the second match. If he wins the second match, he's through to the finals. A 10.6 by Milenko. A 10.6 for a 10.6. Yes. <laughs> Point not awarded to any of the shooters. Score reads the same. Malenko 1, Ginny 0. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Milenko won the first match 10 6 and also has taken the first point of the second match. Shoots a 10.2. There's a golden chance here for Ginny to claim this point. And she misses that chance, shoots a 10.1 point in favor of Milenko. A very low scoring round by both the shooters. Milenko now at 2, Ginny yet to open her account. Both the shooters clearly under pressure. This is a very high pressure format of Top Gun. Race to 10 format, which can put pressure on the best of the best. For the next competition shot, load. Start. And talking about race to 10, under the race to 10 format, a shooter who shoots higher wins a point and the shooter who reaches 10 points first is the match winner. Ginny shoots a 10.6. Malenko Sevic, 10.3 point this time in favor of the Olympic champ Ginny Thrasher. Ginny 1, Malenko 2. For the next competition shot, load. Start. That's the target of very experienced Milenko Sevic of Serbia. Registering a 10.5 this time. Jenny Thrasher, looks like a 10.2, Margaret, can you confirm? Yes, I can confirm, 10.2. Point in favor of Malenko Sevic. Malenko now at 3, Ginny 1. And our question for the day still remains the same. How many... Huh? 
how many 10.9 will be shot today both shooters have already registered 1 1 10.9 let's see if he, if they can shoot a couple of 10.9s more thrilling match on between these two champion shooters For the next competition shot, load. Start. And as we were talking about 10.9, Ginny has literally taken it and bang on target with a 10.9. Fantastic, just brilliant by the Olympic champ, Ginny Thrasher, shooting a 10.9 Margaret. That's really great. Great to see what she what she's doing. That's great. And a, a lot of ladies or women, they really keep cross the fingers for her today. What a time where just when we had put out that question about the number of 10.9s to be shot today, Ginny bang on target. Let's see Malenko's result. Malenko 2 with a near perfect shot of 10.8, falling short by just 0.1. What a high scoring round by these two champion shooters. Point in favor of Ginny, courtesy that perfect 10.9, total score, Malenko 3, Ginny 2. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher bang on target in that last shot. 10.9. I can't believe this. She returns with another 10.9, two back 10.9, 10.9, USA shooting on the fire. What a performance, what a shooter, Margaret. Unbelievable, unbelievable, really, really great, two times 10.9. Congratulations, great. And... Another 10.8. Once again, Milenko Sevic also returns with the same shot, the same situation in the last previous round. Ginny claiming the point with that thinnest possible margin of 0 0.1, courtesy that 10.9. Once again, point in favor of Ginny. Ginny 3, Milenko 3. What a performance by these world-class shooters back to back 10.9s and 10.8s for the next competition shot load start Can this Olympic champ make a hat trick of 10.9? Never seen it before. Shoots a 
Margaret, can you confirm the score of Malenko? No, we had to wait for the 27 shots. Yeah, Malenko still taking his time for the next shot. Those were the two consecutive 10.8s by Malenko. Still waiting for his next shot. Show on the screen. Ginny's shot a 10.4 in her last shot. Let's see if Malenko has crossed 10.4. I'm not sure if he is connected, uh, but maybe he can look. There was a time, a countdown running right, right down on the target. Maybe this countdown was over. I, I cannot see it at the moment because there is uh, uh, information. Oh, can we have your last shot, please? The 28th shot? No, 27. 27th shot, shot. Melendo. Yeah. You see, we are, we are live, so this can be happen, but it doesn't matter. No problem. Malenko, yeah. can we have your 27th shot? And while Malenko is trying to fix his target, we will take a small, very short commercial break. Stay tuned. We'll come back after this very, very short commercial break. That's Malenko's shot market. Can you please yes. verify the shot number? Uh, no, he had start the system again okay, and make so a new shot. The screen okay. was uh, was blank and he made okay. a new shot. Okay. So is this the new shot? Yes, this is correct. This is the new shot. Okay. 10.8 for Malenko. After that small technical glitch in his target system, Point in favor of Malenko, Malenko Sebek 4, Genie Thrasher 3. For the next competition shot, load. Start. And that's what champions like Ginny do. They make full use of these small breaks. They never leave their stance. 
10.7 won't be easy for Milenko to win this a 10.4 by Milenko Sebek point in favor of Ginny Thrasher both shooters at 4 on for the next competition shot load Start. Milenko Sebek, the ISSF World Cup final silver medalist. Shoots a 10.7. Looks in great form today, Margaret. Malenko yes, is he in is. Form today. Definitely, he is in great form today. Really, very stable. Ginny Thrasher, nine point nine point in favor of Milenko. Milenko in the lead. Milenko five, Ginny four. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Malenko Sebek has been in the competition mode. He just won a silver in the 50 meter rifle three position at the Grand Prix in Croatia. He's traveled a long distance. To be in Austria for this match and to join some training. Shoots a 10.0, a golden yes. chance for the Olympic champion to claim a point. Ginny with a 10.5 claims the point. Once again, Ginny. Five, Milenko five, both shooters at the same score. For the next competition shot, load. Start. This experienced shooter has driven 17 hours to be in Austria today, shooting from Austria. Once again, Milenko Sevek bang on target, a near perfect 10.8. Only a 10.9 can save Ginny. That looks like not a very high shot. 10.3, Shimon. 10.3. 10.3 point in favor of Milenko. Milenko in the lead once again. Milenko 6, Ginny 5. A very close match between... Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher of USA and the ISSF World Cup final silver medalist Milenko Sebek of Serbia. Milenko in the lead with one point. For the next competition shot, load. Start. So I was telling you guys about Milenko Sebek travel plan throughout the week. He played his 
first quarter final from Croatia. He's playing the semi final today in Austria. And if he goes to the final, he'll be shooting the finals from Serbia. Three different stages of match from three different countries. And he shoots a 10.6. Can Ginny beat it? A 10.2 for Ginny. Point once again in favor of Milenko Sebic. Extending his lead to two points now. Milenko 7, Ginny 5. For the next competition shot, load. Start. A very strong shooter, Milenko Sevic, in the lead with two points. He's already won the first match, 10-6. Against the Olympic champ Ginny Thrasher. Milenko Sebic shoots a 10.5. Ginny Thrasher once again, just brilliant, just brilliant, 10.9. Yeah. Fantastic performance by Ginny to claim that point. It's not yet over. Ginny is still in the game. Total score, Milenko 7, Ginny 6. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Milenko knows that he needs to shoot very high tens against this Olympic champion Ginny if he need, if he has to go to the finals. Had registered a ten point five in the last shot. Oh, Milenko Semik, is that a ten point nine? Yes, it is. Yeah. What a match this is! We just saw a 10.9 in the last shot by Ginny Thrasher. Milenko Sevic shoots a 10.9 this time. These are two of the greatest shooters. Ginny, 10.5 point in favor of Milenko. Milenko now at 8, Ginny 6. A lot of match still left. Ginny is just two points behind Milenko. Anything can happen in this format of race to win. For the next competition shot, load. Start. The ISSF World Cup final silver medalist Milenko Sebek, highly experienced, just two points away from entering the final. Can Milenko take the next point or will it be Ginny who will close in with a high 10? Let's see. Milenko, a 10.5. And Ginny at 10.2. 10.2 by Ginny. Point once again in favor of Milenko. Milenko now at 9. Ginny 6. Milenko just a point away from entering the final. Now is the time for Ginny. Let's see if she can claim the next three points and make it 9 all. Or will it be Milenko Sevic 
moving it to the finals. A very, very tense situation. US shooting, cheering on for Ginny. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Milenko Sevic just a point away from entering the final of Top Gun. Can he do it in this very shot? The highly experienced Serbian shooter. ISSF World Cup final silver medalist Milenko Sevic a point away from entering the Top Gun final. Let's see if he can finish this game in the next shot. This is a 10.6, Shimon. From Milenko. 10.6 by Milenko, as confirmed by our jury, Margaret Melmer. Oh, Ginny, 10.7 when it mattered the most, claims that point by a very thin 0 0.1 margin, closing in on the gap. Milenko still a point away from victory. Milenko 9, Ginny 7. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Can Milenko Sebik claim a point and enter the final? Ginny right behind him. Milenko at 9, Ginny at 7. It shot a 10.6 in the last shot. Looks like a 10.7. Ginny yes. needs to go be above 10.7. Looks like a very high 10 from Ginny also. 10.6. Correct, yeah. Loses the point to Milenko by the thinnest possible margin. Hard luck for Ginny Thrasher of USA. Milenko Sevic in the Top Gun final will meet Martin Schrempfel on Saturday. Milenko Sevic, the winner and the finalist. What a performance by both these shooters. Milenko Sevic in the end turning out to be the stronger one. What a match it was. Fantastic performance by both Chini and Malenko. There you can see Coach Dan Durban, who was standing right behind Chini, hugging her. It was fantastic. Malenko Sebek, the winner of today's very thrilling semi-final, proceeds to the final. We'll be meeting Martin Stremfel, his wife and coach, standing right beside him. Let's hear for Milenko Sebek, the winner of today's very, very thrilling semi final. And please don't go away. We'll be back soon after this very short commercial break and speak to the shooters. Thank you.
Might on Black Magic electronic scoring target for the discipline's 10 meter air pistol combination or 10 meter air pistol standard. For many years, Maiton systems have been used abroad at championships with multi-shot air pistols. Now, with the improved version of the RFP5 lighting attachment, which features more powerful LEDs behind a sturdy, translucent protection plate. This is the perfect solution to train dynamic disciplines on a shorter distance. The red and green light control works with high precision and no noticeable reaction time. No warm-up, no afterglow, fully electronically controlled and with an extremely long service life. Maiton. Precise, flexible, unique. Welcome back. That was a very thrilling semi-final. Milenko Sebek entering the finals with a 10-6, 10-7 victory over Ginny Thrasher. And to join us first today is Ginny. Hi. Okay. How do you sum up the performance today, Ginny? You were you fought very well, but hard luck. Milenko seemed to be in a better form today. Malenka was, a, Malenka was a great opponent. I absolutely love shooting next to him. I actually really, really wanted it to go to a third round because I was enjoying myself so much, to be honest, especially, you know, from the very first shot, both shooting a 10.7 and then, you know, just kind of like climbing up and down. Uh, I think I really fought a good fight. I did not make it easy for him to win today. And uh, of course, I would have loved to win, but sometimes you fight the good fight and you don't win. Yes, Ginny, and, and those fantastic two consecutive 10.9s. What a, what a fantastic uh, performance of that. Two back-to-back 10.9s. How did you manage to do that? <laughs> you know, I think in the uh, the second match, I really kind of found my, my rhythm. My hold got a lot better, and, and that helped. And I was just really focused every shot on shooting the highest point possible. And, you know, Malenka was shooting really well. And it was kind of like, all right, well, if he's going to shoot a 10.8, if I want to win the point, I have to shoot a 10.9. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I also noticed that uh, there were some very shaky shots, uh, even below 10. You, you registered a lot of nines today, Ginny. Were you under pressure? No, I don't think so. In the first, uh, in the first match, my natural point of aim, my zero point, was a little off. So I used our commercial break between the two matches to fix that, and then my hold got a lot better, and I was able to to shoot very strongly. So I'm I'm not upset at all about my performance. Margaret. Yes, Ginny had four times a nine and four times a 10.9. <laughs> so I think it's okay. I really think it was, congratulations from my side. This was so, so strong what we have seen from you today. Thank you Thank so you. much. Um, how do you think for tomorrow? Sorry, Shimon, that I asked for tomorrow, but tomorrow <laughs> you will shot against Lucas. You will yeah. stand next to each other. <laughs> It'll uh, be just like every other day here, to be honest. So. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm excited. The USA will be taking home the bronze medal. Uh, super exciting. Obviously, it's good preparation and competitive experience for both of us. We're both very competitive people and may the best man win or yeah. woman. Yes, for us. <laughs> okay, thank you. For Ginny, it'll be a very interesting all-American uh, match tomorrow. 
for, for the sure. bronze medal. Margaret, do you want to ask anything else to Ginny? No, thanks. You ask her and she was answering yeah. a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, Ginny, can I have a quick chat with your coach? Of course. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hi, Hi. coach. So how do you sum up Ginny's performance today? It actually was very good. She did a great job today. Um, like she mentioned, she had some struggles in the first round. She did a great job making a correction on that and uh, was very strong in the second round. But oh, congratulations to Malenko. That was some fantastic shooting. So really nice job on his part. And coach, how do you analyze Ginny's? Uh, very, Ginny registered some really shaky shots. I mean, as a coach, what, what what's the reason? What you know, you I wasn't too concerned, concerned with that. Um, she's got a very interesting style of shooting. And uh, when that natural point of aim isn't quite on, um, sometimes you'll get those shots. But again, uh, she noticed that, corrected that. And then you saw the very strong shots, you know, the back-to-back 9.9s, the kinds of things that she can do when she's on. So uh, again, she did a great job catching um, a little bit of an issue and uh, made the correction and, and moved on for some excellent shooting. Those two 10.9s, Coach, did that put a smile on your face? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That, that's exciting when you see that live in a real match. So very exciting. Dan Durbin, Coach of Lucas and Ginny. Dan, what do you have to say about tomorrow's All-American clash between <laughs> Ginny and Lucas? Oh, this will be a good one. They're, uh, they train together, so they're, they're pretty good rivals, but they... Uh, they do support each other and help each other shoot better and better. So it should be a very, very exciting competition tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to this. Thanks, Dan. Margaret, do you have any question for Dan? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I, think, I think it was it was so nice today. Uh, and uh, and it looks like Chini, she she always be uh, she was full concentrated. She never when we saw look, look, Lucas yesterday, he had to correct a lot, and he was moving. And Chini, she looked so yes, she had one two corrections, but she looked very stable. Is this right? Yeah, yeah, that that is absolutely true. She's very very focused. Um, as you mentioned uh, in the commentary. She's such a strong final shooter. You put Ginny in a final and you will see a very focused athlete. And I think that's what you saw today. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was very, very clean and very clear to see. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dan, that you yeah. give us the yeah. chance. Yeah, yeah. Also, also one last question. Yes. One last question, you know. Uh, uh, do, you, do you think uh, to have a competition between a man and a woman, for our sport at least, it's, 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 it's all right? Or do you oh. think they need to oh. be in separate categories? No, no, we're we're pretty used to that over here. We've got a very strong college program, um, and men and women shoot together all through college, um, so we're pretty darn used to that. And so coach, even probably. though I think the women are equally strong in when it comes to shooting sport, because their world record is actually zero point five more than the world men's mm -hmm. world record. Yep. Yep. Same same thing here. We've got very strong women and very strong men, but very equally matched. And what's uh, your what's your vote for tomorrow? Who will <laughs> win? Who, who, who's my favorite child? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I wish the best for both of them. <laughs> it's me. I'm the favorite. <laughs> That's a tough question. Yeah, oh, very, very interesting. <laughs> interesting bronze medal match between Lucas Kozinski and Ginny Thrasher of USA. It'll be a tough one for Coach Dan Durbin as he trains both of them. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. That's and then Dan you will Durbin. see there will be a lot of woman power tomorrow. <laughs> yes, it's not again Lucas and Ginny, it's the woman power tomorrow. <laughs> That's Dan All Durbin, the coach of Lucas Kozenski and Ginny Thrasher. Now we'll move on to the champion, Milenko Sebek. And let's hear for him once again.
Milenko Sevek, the champion, moved to the finals. We'll be meeting Martin Stremfel on Saturday. Milenko, what's your initial reaction? Hello to everybody. Ah, it was very hard shooting, but in the end, I was I, I was good. I was a little tired, maybe because of that. It's, everything is come on the place, and I was really do a good job. But I had problem with the target because uh, time runs out. Here, when you put the program, you have the you have the time down there, and when the time is done, the target stop. And I didn't go for that. And when I shot the shot, nothing happened. And then I called my friend, and he told me that it's a problem with the time because first time I used uh, here this new new system, wireless system, and I didn't know how they how they work, work. But I got a little bit. Uh, I was after that. Uh, I was thinking about that what happened, <laughs> what what it was, but. The end was but Milenko, you were in very good form right from the first shot today. You were, it, it seemed to me that you were in excellent form. Uh, uh, yeah, even we, though you, we, have you, we have a training, we have a, the, had a training camp after the OSIC. We left there a few days, uh, make a really quality <coughs> training camp with uh, my coach and my team. And I think that this is the results of that, that car training there. <laughs> And, how and especially, I, especially I was know against who I should. Jimmy is amazing, and uh, I was set up myself that I must be I have to. I can, to I can beat her and uh, put the and uh, shoot better at the sport in track. Malenko, the fact that you were shooting against an Olympic champion, and uh, uh, did that push you to perform much to shoot, register some really high ten? Of course, of course, that, that, is, that is the main goal. Uh, all of us shooters, when we shoot, uh, when we shoot against someone who is, uh, who is the famous, especially Eugenie, we we need uh, we need to perform really good, and we we push ourselves to I can say push to the limit and give the maximum. And Milenko, uh, you know this format of race to ten. You could, uh, uh, even after registering a 10.8, you are not sure if you have won the point. Did that bother you twice? You registered two 10.8s, but were not good enough to claim that point. Did that disturb you mentally? Yes, yeah, that was that was very interesting. 10.8, G10.9, yeah, 10.8, 10.9. <laughs> okay, next time. But I didn't think so much about that. I, I would just uh, push myself to stay focused and so I can perform the, the shots like 10.5 and more because I know that 10.2, 10.3, I will for sure lose the points. Margaret. Um. <laughs> Milenko, do you uh, do you think that uh, that you're shooting against a woman? Was this a, a very special way for you, or have you have you done this in an official competition before? Shooting against a woman. Mm -hmm. um, no, my first official competition <laughs> against the woman was, was my last match. This is the. This is now the second second match, but of course uh, uh, we look to be gentlemen on all way, but on this way it's something different. We, we shoot a competition and we, we need to be the, on the same level, but after shooting, I will be gentleman for sure. Malenko, can we also have a quick chat with your wife and coach, Elena Sevic? And there we can also hear in the background Milenko's I will, very I will cute take a daughter. I will take a time now and she will, she will come. It looks Milenko like that Milenko is struggling with his whole family. Is, yes. Also in the screen is Milenko's very cute daughter who's always there in all the competitions wearing his medals. I've seen her in so many competitions there. 
Hello, coach. How do you rate your husband's and shooter's performance? Ah, it was nice. Good performance. <laughs> what to say? It was hard for him, I know, because of our conditions of traveling. And I know in which physical condition he is. But I know that he is a very big fighter. <laughs> this is, and he has that character. Very strong. And because of that, I, I not don't know uh, for one hundred percent that he will win, but I know for one hundred percent that he will fight. Yeah. However, he is hard, feeling himself or what. And this is very good, uh, very good to to check himself how he will find him in this hard situation. Alina, you are traveling the most of the time, the whole family, you and the child and yes, the name all the time. Yes. Do, you all the time. Make, do you think that makes him so strong? Do you think that give him special power because the you and the child is always with him? Because because other other shooters are a long, long way without their uh, their wives or their girlfriends, and so it's different with Milenko and you. You think that give him yes, the special I, power? I, yes, I think uh, we are we are first family in shooting world, who is practice traveling and everything that we need to tell. Everything that from two months from two months old. She's with us, and she eating on the shooting range. She's sleeping on the, on the shooting range. Uh, she's living on the shooting range and follow us completely. We don't we don't we don't have help because I'm from Russia. My family living uh, in Russia. Uh, I'm from Russian national team. Like that, we are connecting on competition. We almost got married, got child. His family uh, doesn't don't live uh, in the same city. We are living in Belgrade, and uh, we don't have help. Help. Sometimes, of course, I call uh, his father or mother to help when is uh, competition something important, but it is very seldom. And also, when I called his father or mother, he is. Oh, also on the competition, just he is playing something, doing something, and my child is so get used with us on the shooting range, and she already doesn't want to sit at home. She just oh, okay. Mama, I want to training. I want to train, and she's get used. Will Will the whole family be on Saturday with you on the shooting range yes. with Milanko? Of course. Yeah, of course. Okay, so we will, we will know his mom and his father too. They will be there uh, on the range. Uh, no, I will. No. I will be like this right now. Okay. We will be the same situation without him. Okay. Thanks. And coach, how Thank do you, you have, what do you have to say about Milenko's final against Martin Stremfel? Martin is a very strong shooter. What do you have to say about that? That clash with Martin. This is sport. Yeah, it happens every. I just can't say like that. He have they ever trained fight. together? Huh? Alina, have they ever trained together? Was they all? Was they on the training camp together somewhere? Who? These two guys, Martin, Martin and Milenko. No, no, no. No, no. no. Okay. No. It'll be an interesting final, Alina. We hope to see you backing for your shooter and husband, Milenko Sebik. That was Alina Sebik, wife and coach of ISSF World Cup final silver medalist, Milenko Sebik, who's entered the Top Gun final. Thank you, Alina. Thank you. Ciao. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye to everyone. Bye. bye. See, you See you on Saturday. Bye.
But before you go, let's hear for you one more time, Milenko. Before you go, let's celebrate your victory one last time. And now market a little bit about tomorrow's match it's an interesting clash situation now it's an all american bronze medal match between olympic champ jenny thrasher who unfortunately could not enter the top gun final versus lucas kozenski the world cup champion market how do you see this match tomorrow this match, um, the first is that they are both from America. That's 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 a good uh, a good base. But then, what what the game make really great is that we have two top class shooters, really the same level, and the match against the woman and the man. And I think that's the most most important thing for tomorrow. Really, our community, you can see all our sportsmen and all other people, they are watching us. They only will see that the man can fight against the, uh, uh, a man against a woman and they are on the same level. And yes, and like, like, like Dan Durban, the coach of them are, are telling us before, he will not know who we will, but we will see a great performance for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to witness the bronze medal match tomorrow at the same time between Olympic champion Ginny Thrasher and World Cup champion and world number three, Lucas Kozenski of USA. Till then and only till then, goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.